first uh, prototype, right? The uh, very, very first, um, very first prototype of um, of Jaraball. Um, yeah, it's really small. Yeah, it's actually smaller than what the, the real thing is going to be. Another probably inch all, an extra inch all around. So, yeah, yeah, because of the tire, right? You said that it's important to have a thick tire for performance. Exactly. Yeah, we wanted okay. more. We wanted more room in there the tire but just yeah we didn't think I think just visually as well we wanted to kind of differ to appear a bit uh, yeah a bit bigger um, I see you have so this one's um, yeah I have also one other design uh, the colleague of mine uh, just told me yeah it wouldn't be smart to leave it on the grass because somebody would mistake it for the real ball because it's not really much larger than that they'd have fun <laughs> if they kicked it yeah <laughs> Um, but uh, yeah, no. Like, what's ex yeah, one of the interesting things that we're going to be able to do is like really interesting designs. Um, yeah. So it can look like a, a, a basketball. A lot of people are commenting that it's the it's a bak Bakugan. <laughs> what is it? Uh, Connor, they call it the Bakugan one. Yeah. Oh come yeah. on! You're on the video. You have to say something <laughs> smart <laughs> now. Yeah. Say whatever. I don't remember my lines. I don't remember yeah. My lines say on Irish. Nobody will know. <laughs> Star yeah. Wars. What's the thing from Star Wars? Yeah, the 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 the, the, uh, the Death Star. The Death Star from Star yeah. Wars. Uh, the basketball, Star. soccer ball. Yeah. You can look like the moon, the planet, Earth. Yeah. Uh, golf ball, baseball. <laughs> I like this one. This one is like uh, this is generic. Original, yeah. original. Maybe it's generic, uh, but it's totally original design. Doesn't doesn't look like a okay, ball okay. or a basketball. This one. Uh, I'm pretty happy that you chose this one for the main uh, Bakugan, featured what's the image. Just look up Bakugan toy. Yeah, see what it is. Um. He still doesn't have nothing to say. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Probably the the real idea here was kind of what we were doing. Obviously, I teamed up with Mark, who's the one of the original inventors of the very first electric unicycle. Um, yeah, we can see Mark right there working on. Yeah. Something probably it will show yeah. us it later. And the thought process was kind of around trying to come up with something that was easier to use. So one of the reasons electric unicycles, I believe, aren't mass market is obviously because there's a very difficult learning curve. Yeah. So we thought if we could come up with something that was um, much easier to use, it would bring more people into the ecosystem. And those people would probably then upgrade to a regular electric unicycle later. This is probably between a. Board. You've got the hoverboards over here, and you've yeah. got electric unicycles over here. So the one, that's the extreme end of it. That's the easy end of it, and this is probably right in the middle. So it's a progression towards um, an electric unicycle. The problems with hoverboards, for for one thing, is uh, uh, the wideness of the whole system. So you 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 just take a part of the street. Yeah, well, hoverboards legs are, not, are wide. They're not, they're not very practical for, no. for turning. So you're going along not like that, and you have to actually turn like that so it doesn't it's not intuitive so actually you're just going along on a dry wall and it's easy just lean over that way or that way uh the inspiration uh for for this was uh impracticability of uh yeah hoverboards uh, are just hover just, aren't, uh, just are not practical yeah heavy yeah. um too big and just on the point of uh i mean the size the, the other idea with this product was that you can actually take it literally anywhere with you if you think about hoverboards, even electric scooters, electric bikes, they're not really the ultimate last mile solution because you can't actually take them on a yeah. on a bus or a train, they're too big. And if everybody starts taking them on buses and trains, then we're going to have to have twice the size of buses and trains. Okay, so I have one more, uh, uh, one important question, now that we mentioned hoverboards and uh, electric unicycles. And this is the, uh, the biggest problem for people who are learning Hoverboards or electric unicycles stepping on the board. So first of all, it's yeah, it's standing as it is at the moment, just standing on the floor. Okay. You step on, nothing happens. Then um, I don't know. We're going to give it like six seconds, so it will go one, two, three, ah, four, okay, five, okay. six. You have six seconds to get to put your other foot on, and then you, yeah. then it kicks in. Uh, this is one of the things why gyro ball is easier to learn. The first thing you gotta get on it, and to get on it, you need already to balance. Yeah, and yeah, on yeah. gyro ball, you actually can yeah, stand the time and then add the the, add the, the second yeah. leg. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, like that feature. Into the campaign. Guess who we hear from? 
Is it better? <laughs> 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 <laughs>